right. Hello, wine-drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and the wines of the Priorat, one of my favorite areas in Spain. And you know, this area is recently elevated to a DOC. There's only two, Rioja and the Priorat in Spain, but the laws are changing very rapidly in Europe and Spain included there. And uh, this is a small winery, and these guys have been around for just over a decade here. Terror a la limita, so the limits of uh, terror, this very high elevation, very difficult growing conditions, uh, uh, you know, of really steep slopes here. And uh, you see mostly red wines, but there's a little white wine coming from the pre rot, and these wines really speak volumes about the place where they come from. And this white, the terror de cinquez, uh, this wine is a, uh, this means the land of the fireflies, by the way. The, the names here are rather hard to pronounce. And, you know, um, I mean, you know, they only make a few hundred cases, so it doesn't matter what they call them. The wines are in the bottle here. It's, this one's Pedro Jimenez and 20% Muscat Alexander, whole cluster press, two weeks on the skins for a portion of the grapes, and no oak in any of these wines anymore. They used to use oak barrels, but they're so damn expensive, and you really miss part of what the wine is about when you oak it up. Because all you notice is the oak in the nose and the minerality and the place where these wines are from really are what make them unique. And uh, this wine's got a really lovely bouquet of pretty white flowers, pears, quince-like fruit of the nose, and a really distinct character, that liquor ale, that slate stoil shining through and a light briny kind of minerally note to it. Uh, very concentrated and rich on the tongue. The good amount of that white apricot and pear fruits, uh, pretty white flowers, that tangy mineral laced finish just seeming to go on and on. This wine even better on the second day. Excellent juice. The Tirola Limita Toro, Torosia, which means the Red Tower. Uh, Grenache and Carignan in the blend here, also all whole cluster. These 2011 wines, they've changed the process by which they make these wines over the last couple of years. Like I said, they took out the oak, the whole cluster pressing also. They don't stem anymore. All natural yeast. They don't te use, have any form of temperature control here either, and they don't use sulfur before fermentation. And this wine's got a kind of a funky herbal and floral nose to the black raspberry and dark cherry fruits, wild flowers and herbs, really distinctly pre rot bouquet here, really fresh and bright on the palate, uh, nice uh, uh, cranberry, raspberry, redberry fruit showing, pretty floral notes, a long uh, mineral laced finish with those herbs and notes of that slate liquor like soil showing through here on the finish, most excellent juice. Uh, the 2008, which I don't know if this wine's still available, they were a little surprised when I pointed out uh, that this wine was 2008 vintage, Arbosor, or Arbosor, uh, which means bushes, and it's 100% Carignan, 90 years old, a north-facing uh, vineyard slight here. This is uh, this was distemmed, and they used some small barrique here, and uh, this does show a little of that toasty oak spice, some mocha in there, some zesty red berry fruit on the tongue with pretty floral notes, uh, and still nice freshness in this wine, and you get that essence of the Priorat out of it uh, with some tannin showing up on the end, nicely balanced here, excellent juice. And then the Dietz de Terroir, which means Fingers of the Earth, and uh, this is 2011, also 100% Carignan from a south-facing slope. Some nice red licorice spice there, fresh bouquet of flowers, red cherry, raspberry, with an array of flowers, herbs, really bright and fresh. Uh, but all of these wines, well, the 08, still bright and fresh, even with the oak, but the 11s, you really notice the style change in this wine. Really zesty on the palate with racy acidity, a host of that exotic spice and pretty floral notes showing through uh, at the end with a long mineral lace finish, most excellent juice. And then a white. We started with a white and ended with a white here. This is the Pedra de G, oui, which means chips and stones. This is white Grenache, Pedro Menace, and Macabeo in equal parts, so third, a third, a third, direct press with, press with food oak, so large oak. Good amount of that floral lavender uh, note to the nose here, along with that schist mineral highlights and fresh kind of uh, tree fruits. Really thick and viscous on the tongue. This wine's showing lovely concentration and richness. 2010, a more classic style vi vintage. Some lime and lemon zest showing up on the finish, along with a lot of that slate-like minerality. Really concentrated juice. Most excellent white wine from the Priorat. That's what we had to drink with our fr friends from Eric Solomon's Selections. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.